While you may believe John Tavares was the biggest name to move, veterans Paul Stasny, Jack Johnson, Michael Grabner and Chris Kunitz also changed teams on the opening day of NHL Free Agency Sunday. Stasny was perhaps the most sought-after center on the market after Tavares. The Winnipeg Jets were believed to have offloaded goalie Steve Mason's salary on Montreal last week to leave cap room to make him a big offer to stay. Winnipeg's Paul Stasny, here in a playoff game against Vegas, has opted to join the Golden Kings for the next three years. Jason Halstead, Getty Images but the 32-year-old Stasny, acquired at the trade deadline, and a key piece in the Jets' playoff run, opted to sign with the team that beat them in the Western Conference Final, the Vegas Golden Knights, for three years at $6.5 million per season. And more. Bruce Arthur, Tavares did what others wouldn't and came home to Maple Leafs article continued below Van Riemsdyk returns to Flyers, Bozak signs with Blues Drew Doughty signs eight-year extension to stay in Los Angeles The Jets also lost backup goalie Michael Hutchinson to a one-year $1.3 million deal with Florida, but picked up goalie Laurent Brissois from Edmonton for one year and $650,000 Johnson, one of the top defensemen on the market, left Columbus for a five-year, $16.25 million deal with Pittsburgh, while a former Penguin 38-year-old Chris Kunitz, left Tampa Bay for Chicago for one year at $1 million. Grabner moved from New Jersey to Arizona on a three-year pact paying $3.350 million per season. A new wrinkle this year was a week-long negotiating window ahead of free agent frenzy, so many deals were sealed in advance. That led to a rush of announcements as the market opened, it's a busy marketplace, you've got to be careful at this time of the year, said Calgary Flames GM Brad Treliving. As an industry we're getting more familiar with this courting period. I don't know if it's good, bad or what it is. I would say it's very similar to years past. You've got to be careful how you go about your business. The Flames made their big move last week with a multiplayer trade that saw Dougie Hamilton, Michael Furland and a prospect go to Carolina for Noah Hannifin and Elias Lindholm. Article continued Bella was free agency started, they signed 31-year-old Hurricanes center Derek Ryan to a three-year contract worth $9.375 million. The Vancouver Canucks were looking for size and grit up front when they signed Washington center Jay Beagle and Dallas winger Antoine Roussel to four-year deals worth an average of $3 million per year, and added forward Tim Schaller from Boston on a two-year contract, worth an average of $1.9 million annually. We want to be a harder team to play against and I think the players we added make us harder, GM Jim Benning said. The Edmonton Oilers reached out for German forward Tobias Reeder for one year at $2 million and former street. Louis Blue Kyle Brodziak for two years reportedly at $1.150 per season. They had a defenseman Kevin Gravel from a Los Angeles on a one-year, two-way deal. The Ottawa Senators added depth to their organization with the signing of goalie Mike McKenna and forward Paul Carey to one-year, two-way contracts. The Canadians also signed up center Matthew Pekka to a two-year contract with annual salary cap hit of $1.3 million and inked defenseman Xavier Aulit to a one-year, one-way contract worth $750,000 in the NHL. Other notables to change teams included forward David Peronda Street. Lewis, defenseman John Moore to Boston and rearguard Lynn Cole to Colorado. Carolina lost goalie Cam Ward to Chicago but signed Petter Morazic from Philadelphia. With a file from Donna Spencer in Calgary.